it's, it's incredible when you think about the history of what's gone on in not only in this building, of course, but the original building over on 9th and LaSalle. Perhaps no one knows that history better than the guy who spent a half century working here. Something went off in my head to say, I, you know, I don't know why, maybe I'd like to do that someday. Mark Rosen walked into the Radio City Theater, our original home, as a high school kid, ready to start his career. And in 1983, Rosie was there to make the move to Nicollet Mall. It resonates with people that somewhere in their family, somebody grew up watching WCCO television. Well, the first thing that strikes me is that uh, when I got there, it was only 29 years old. And now it's 70. And that, uh, that's a little daunting to think about. While the years have passed, Don Shelby's passion for the station that gave him 32 storied years as an anchor and investigative reporter has not. When I think about WCCO TV, um, it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. It was just absolutely the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Okay. Don, thank you. Whatever I was as an anchor person, I stole wholesale from Dave Moore. Seems like such a long time ago when they started working on television. It was Dave who captained this ship for 47 years. Now, the Dave Moore News. He launched the 10 p.m. only after Walter Cronkite turned down the job. Return with us now to those thrilling years of yesterday. Don considers Dave a trailblazer who set the tone on the air and in the newsroom. WCCO stands for something beyond journalism and community involvement. It does kind of stand for family. Obviously, we're married to each other, so we are a family. But even before that, just co-workers, my co-anchors, you know, we genuinely like each other. I think that's something you cannot fake. It's a good place to be right now. Yeah, it really is. I'm not sure that a married couple works in every television market across the country. Or any business. <laughs> no, but, but here it works, and I think that is a kind of a reflection of our community. I mean, we're a close-knit group. We're a close-knit station. And Susan Spencer was right there amongst them, Susan. A station known around the country. Now, this is in a very remote and mountainous part of North Korea. For decades, launching reporters to the network. Still, there is a loyalty in a profession where turnover can be common. The dedication, the pride, all that is It's not a cliche. It's true. So I think that's why people stayed, because... They really enjoyed coming to work here. And as we look ahead to a new generation growing up with constant information. I think it's needed more today than ever before because of the impersonal nature of the world that we live in. Our commitment to news and making a connection remains. CCO will live forever. In the state of Minnesota, in the hearts of people, and certainly in mine. Well, speaking of that family at WCCO, when I was 10 years old, Don Shelby interviewed me on the radio after I started a neighborhood newspaper in my hometown of Worthington. Don asked me during that interview what I'd like to do when I grew up, and I told him that one day I'd like to have his job. Well, nearly 15 years later, I was lucky enough to be able to anchor alongside him before he retired.